we can solve an absolute value equation like this by splitting it into two different equations. Meaning, what's inside the absolute value will equal 12 if it's either equal to a positive 12 or a negative 12. Both of these result in simple one-step equations, which can be solved by adding 7 to each side. On the first equation, the 7s cancel, and one possibility is that x is equal to 12 plus 7, or 19. The other possibility is that it's negative 12 plus 7, which is going to be a negative 5. Now let's just verify both of these solutions work. If I plug in 19 for x, I get 19 minus 7, and of course that's equal to 12. The absolute value of 12 is simply going to be 12, so in that case it is true. In the other case, if I plug in negative 5, negative 5 minus 7 is equal to negative 12, and the absolute value of negative 12 is also going to be 12. So both of those are in fact true, and our solutions, x equals negative 5 and x equals 19, are two valid solutions to my original absolute value equation Absolute value of x minus 7 equals 12. Hope that helped. Thank you.